Hello everyone, welcome to these Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the G.I. Joe Classified series, number 116, Quick Kick. Now, unpopular opinion right off the bat, if there was a figure that should have gotten the classified treatment and gotten a modern update, it should have been Quick Kick. Save this old school, you know, his classic look, save that for the retro card. Give us, give us that, uh, that Pursuit of Cobra update with the Kung Fu grip, you know. Something, something different, because we know that we could see this uh, rehash down the line on the retro card. And after seeing the uh, the snow serpent and the eel, uh, I think that retro card's a big middle finger to the face. So, um, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. It's great for people who missed out. I'm, you're not wrong there, but as as far as uh, retro, it's a uh, it's a huge missed opportunity. But let's dive into quick kick here. Um, we got that classic look. We got some frozen fudgy bars to talk about. Let's get into it. So, packaging. Last wave of this packaging. Um, bit of a letdown because I like this. Uh, we're back at the windows, obviously. I like this. Then we're switching over to that universal packaging coming up. But G.I. Joe Classified Series. Got that blue back background. I know I thought it was uh, different than Airborne's, but it is going to be the same. Um, I saw the Chevrons and Airborne's. I thought I saw something different in the uh, product reveals for Quick Kick. We get some artwork over there. Some yelling. We got our QR code to nowhere. I did ask about this on Emily's thing. Uh, she gave that same answer they've been giving where, oh, we're updating the website. All of our websites are going to be up soon. And, I mean, it's been, what, over a year since they took the G.I. Joe site down and then brought it back up. Here's all his special abilities. Looks like some infiltration, some... I don't know, I don't know what that one is. <laughs> Key and a sword. Uh, edged weapons and probably some kind of martial arts. We get our shot on the back, and that's going to be a throwback to him in the uh, original cartoon episode where he battles Storm Shadow, and then we got the classified Storm Shadow over there. We don't got the retro Storm Shadow, so very interesting. They, they show off the uh, throwing star, which we'll talk about. They show off his uh, updated deco on his pants. Got some seals. What does that uh? What does that mean? What's coming? We're we gonna get some classified seals. Beautiful shot of that artwork again. One sixteen. You love it. So, diving into the accessories here, we got a decent amount of stuff, something fun. We get reuse of Nunchucks Nunchucks. Uh, this time they actually got color, so it's funny that Quick Kicks Nunchucks got a little more attention than Nunchucks, and his name is Nunchuck. So, um, take that how you want, but looks pretty good. You got that animal on the bottom there, silver chain. Then obviously there. They're going to be pliable. You get two sets of those. We get two of these swords, which I don't think we've seen yet. And I compared it to uh, nunchucks also. So we get that same animal head. Come on. Same animal head. And we do have that on nunchucks, but it's a whole different sword. So you got the, the brown hilt, brown handle, whatever you want to call it. Silver blade. And you get two of those. You get a in motion throwing star, but no throwing star. And it's in this blue. I don't know why they didn't make it clear. I think clear would have been a lot more fun, but I guess blue is something different, just like their blast effects. I wish they'd just kind of buckle down and give uh, this. I wish this would have been clear. I mean, we got, uh, if you got Mezco Snake Eyes, you got plenty of throwing stars, and there's no hand. So, uh, just. Interesting choices there. We got two throwing star hands with, uh, we got one with Storm Shadow and one with Snake Eyes. And then we don't get one with Nunchuck, and he actually is throwing a throwing star. So we'll put that in his hand later and go from there. But it's interesting. I see what they're going for. It's just, uh, I think it's a miss. Especially being this blue and no hand, so. We get our frozen fudgy bar, which we've all been asking about. And I'm going to claim, I'm going to I'm gonna claim that this was my uh, my idea here. So, I mean, obviously... Probably wasn't. They probably had it on paper forever, but I'm claiming it's mine. There's some paint chip in there. Uh, it's got the wrapper. It's got the foil, but there is no, there's no other deco to it. Mine's covered in paint smear. Uh, but the silver wrapper looks fun. The foil. Now, if we can get the frozen fudgy on the Creo, get out of Bazooka's hand here. It's in there pretty good. On a Creo, but we can't get it on the actual classified one 
Come on, that would have been that would have been like the icing to the cake. So I'm I'm hoping maybe Codename Iowa or someone will uh, will crank out a frozen fudgy bar. Maybe some uh, some 3D printers out there. But it just, it would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. And they mention it in the in the bio too, which I'll read here in a second. But it's fun. It's a fun accessory. But you know, if you're gonna do it, go all out. As for uh, Quick Kicks bio, they pulled almost directly from his uh, file card into the classified bio. If you guys go onto the classified website, part of the figure description, there is a bio. And Quick Kicks reads, His Japanese father and Korean mother owned a grocery store in Watts. Too short to play basketball as a youth, Quick Kick turned to martial arts. He is a ranking black belt in Taekwondo and a bunch of other martial arts. He, is working, he was working as a stuntman in Hollywood when he was recruited for the G.I. Joe team. So... Um, that's almost pulled directly from his original file card, which is cool that they're doing that stuff. But we couldn't we couldn't have spiced it up a little bit, giving him something different. Um, there's there's some I'm gonna try try to say like racial prejudice in the file card because he's half Korean, half Japanese, so he's not liked or something like that. And obviously Hasbro omitted that. Um, but let's dive into the figure. Well, we got more accessories to get into, huh? For the first time, we get a left and right fist. Now, we've gotten fists in the past, but they've only been one or the other. This time, we got both. And then if you want to get the throwing knife hand, it is a different skin t skin tone for Storm Shadow. He's that, like, olive skin tone opposed to uh, the regular flesh. And then we also get a left and right karate chopping hand, knife hand, saluting hand, whatever you want to use it for. Um, so that's pretty fun, too. We get a backpack, all red, some straps and molding pouch escape sculpted onto it, and it does hold the uh, the swords in. Those just slot in like so. We get an extra head sculpt of a like duck face, blown out a candle. I don't I don't really know what uh, what he's doing here. I would have preferred a, uh, a yelling face like we got with the uh, box art, but this is what we got. Figure himself. He's got his headband. I'm missing some paint on the hair right there. Nothing a black uh, paint pen can't fix. We got the sash. We got the throwing stars. They don't come out. They're just sculpted on there. And then we got some g crazy looking butterfly. I mean, it's, it's what it is. It is what it is with the, if you want the butterfly articulation with the, with no shirt, but, um, I don't know. Maybe they could have made him shirtless, give him the, the overlay, giving him the, a different vest or something. I don't know. What, what would you guys want to see as far as updated hammer? Are you guys okay with just the plain, you know, karate pajama pants figure? So, but my man is absolutely ripped. He does his cardio. He's jacked. Well, ripped. He, I wouldn't say jacked. Working our way down. Double jointed pinless elbows. Double jointed pinless knees. We got some kind of updated deco here. We got this, uh, I think they said wind pattern thrown on there. And then we got thigh cut. Going up into the foot, we get, <laughs> for the first time, classified bare feet. And they are very, uh, very detailed. And then you can rotate the, I got a giant... <laughs> <laughs> giant stamp of the batch number there. Um, and then I got the... Uh, these stand out for some reason more on this one than I have noticed on other figures, but... On the... Uh, all the date stamping and stuff. So, you got that mid-shin boot swivel for the ankle. And then you got your uh, your peg holes in the bottom of the feet for your classified figure stands. You really wanted to. Um, interesting character. We'll... Uh, We'll throw that different head on real quick. And there you can see it's something different, something different than that uh just regular stoic face. We'll grab that throwing star. Will that be right? If I can get his hand to pose up a little bit here. So it'd be crossbody. So, I mean, it's it's there. Take it as you want. 
Um, I'm sure someone can definitely pose it a lot better. I think it's just goofy. Um, just a, a weird accessory. Would have ra rather had it attached to the hand. You know. Or just throwing stars in general. I mean, these don't have to come out, but at least include one. Just blank one. Instead of just including this thing. And we got him with his frozen fudgy. Now we know that Alpine's coming down the line, so we'll grab his buddy Bazooka. Fellow frozen fudgy uh, aficionado. And there he is. As for being sh too short to play basketball, he stacks up pretty uh, pretty decent compared to other Joes. I'm like, you know, who else was short? Tunnel Rat. Um, they say the steel core was short, but it is what it is. So um, there he is, your G.I. Joe Classified Series Quick Kick. Did you guys pick him up? Skip out on him? Is he a must have? You don't really care much for the character. You would have rather gotten that uh, Pursuit of Cobra update. Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, I'm Bobby B. Load up, grab your kits. See you on the battlegrounds.